But I promised his father that I would never do anything to hurt him again. So will you help me just this once? <laughs> I'll go get him. Oh, I want to stay at your place, not his. Oh. You want to stay somewhere familiar, right? His place is. Right, Lei Ming? Welcome to my cozy inn, a place that you can always call home. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Do you really want me to stay with him? Hey, what's your problem? Do you hate me that much? If Midoa didn't beg me, I wouldn't let you stay here. Listen, my place, my rules. If you want to stay here, fine. If not, then get hey, out. Hey, hey, you? hey! Did you forget what I told you? And I told you not to react badly. He actually cares for you because he's willingly offered his place for you to stay. Right, Lei Ming? Ooh, looks like you really don't want me to live here. Which means I must move in. But it's not your home, it's my home! You're moving back? This used to be your home, right? I'm going to buy this place and take back the apartment. Oh, I see. Now you're going to force me out, right? Fine, do it. I'll turn this place into a nail salon. Don't make Miruo, it take a seat. This is a fight between us men, all right? Try to avoid getting splashed by blood. Just watch. Oh, you're removing your jacket, eh? I can do that too. My belt. Let me tell you the truth. <laughs> I've caught an incurable disease and I miss my home. I do miss my home. <gasps> In this cruel metropolis, this is the only place where I can stay. If you force me out, where else can I live? I'll freeze to death on the streets. <laughs> We've known each other for a long time. Look at me. Or is an international friendship involving China and South Korea? Are you willing to hurt me like this? Certainly not, right? You wouldn't do it. No, what is this? <laughs> I'll stay in Midoa's room. Hey, no way! You'll sleep on the sofa. The living room is enough for you. No can do. I'll stay in Midoa's room. Hey, wait! Okay, how about this? Sleep in my room. Guess I'd better call Yechi then. All right, sure, 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 sure. Take the room upstairs. Take the luggage to my room. You've got money, so what? Who are you showing off to? Carry the luggage yourself. You think I'm scared of you, huh? Fine, I'll do it! Thanks. Where have you been? You're late. Since you live with me now, let me show you the ropes. My private life is important to me. So, for future reference, never pry into my life again. I'll forgive you for what happened in the past, but from now on, don't bother me, or I won't be nice to you anymore. You must be feeling guilty since you're avoiding my question. Did you see Midoa? What the hell are you talking about? Do you have any proof, huh? Besides, why do you care who I went out with? I can go out with whoever I want to. Who do you think you are? Because it bothers me a lot! Look, it's late. Why haven't you made dinner? Why should I cook dinner for you? People used to cook for me. Why don't you cook for me, huh? Oh... Okay, then. 
I'm telling me to walk. All right, fine, you win. I'll cook for you, okay? <laughs> Hurry up and cook. Me do with this, me do with that. What else can you talk about? How annoying. <laughs> well, since time is limited, I can only prepare one dish for you, so pick one. Braised beef, mushroom stewed chicken, or braised beef and tomato. Me picking one from those? I want soup. Sure there's soup, so pick one. Okay. I'll have some braised beef. Go cook. Oh, braised beef it is then. Hmm. Won't be long. <sighs> hurry it up. I said wait. Why are you in a hurry? I said hurry up. What's this? Your braised beef soup. Plus, I even got you noodles. And braised beef is exactly what you wanted. Dig in before it gets cold. Hey, you kept me waiting so long only to serve me this? Hey, these are no ordinary noodles. Medically speaking, noodles with braised beef is not as bad as others think. Besides, if you look at it, it has beef. Now look closely. See what's inside. It's very special. Not all the noodles go with the beef, you know. And the beef wasn't that hard to cook, but it looks really tender, don't you think? <laughs> hey! Don't you want your noodles? Hey, where are you going? You don't want your soup? Fine, I'll have it. Hey, I already used that fork. It has my saliva. I can't believe it. If she really lost her memory, how could she use the same filthy schemes? I swear she's really different this time. But she's not as bad as before, so I don't know how to deal with her. If I do something, I might hurt her. <laughs> That's unlikely. Losing one's memory can only be possible in soap operas. I get to play that role all the time. How can such a thing happen in reality? The plot is lousy enough. Don't tell me you're willing to play along. What, you'll let her harm you some more? I'm telling you the truth. Fine, no need to convince me. Let's say yet she did lose her memory. It'll be easy to prevent her from stealing Xiaoyang. Just tell him to reject her. Game over. Happy ending. Everything's perfect. She might be emotionally broken. I don't want to put Xiaoyang into trouble. You don't know much about men. They should shoulder more of the burden. Even if Xiaoyang broke up with Yechi, it seems he can't really let go of her. Because what lingers in his mind is the love and trust he used to give her. This is the type of man that one both loves and hates. Love his decisiveness and hate his indecision. I don't think I would hate Xiaoliang for being indecisive. Well, that's for you to decide. You can always fool others, but never yourself. Your heart will ache if you do. If you don't believe it, then try. Well then, let me handle this. When I have time, I'll meet with Yechi to assess her myself. Rest assured, I'll get to the bottom of this. That sounds vicious. I'll try to be delicate. <laughs> <sighs> I don't want to admit it, but I know you're right. Because every time I try to convince myself and comfort myself about this, I feel wounded deep inside my heart. I remember someone once said, everyone's heart has its own feelings. Oh, I think it was Mr. Shen who said okay, it. Okay, stop. Don't ever mention that heartless man. I'm here to help Xiaoyang with the issue. I need to talk to somebody from your company first. See you. I told you, Chiu. I need another point person. Has Mr. Xiao given the order? Yeah, okay. I'll be right there. have opened the door the wrong way. I'll open it differently. <sighs> How come it's you again? Where's Xiaoyang? Why, didn't he tell you? Something urgent came up. So yes, it's me again. Go away! 
Gawain. It's done. Here, put this on. You did a great job on this shoot. Of course it was. I meant it. You're the Gawain. Why, what face do I have? The face of our first love. And so? It's perfect. The first phase of the ad shoot is finally finished. This is for the second phase. Have a look at it. We're moving on to the second phase today. <laughs> Mr. Shen, I finished the shooting because I was perfect. But instead of praising me, you're giving me a burden. How could you be so mean? Because, Miss Gao, you're the spokesperson for our company. It's your job to do your duty and follow the company. So I can't think of a reason to praise you. How can you be so cold and emotionless like some sort of robot? Can't you stay humble before a beautiful woman like me? Go Go on! On! We love you! Uh, we love you! Hi! Hello! Oh. Hey! I love you! <laughs> Did you see that? That's the charm I possess. Those people came all the way here just to have a glimpse Go of my on! beauty. Hey! Go on! Hey, don't block me! Go in! What's Go me? in! Oh, nothing. Go nothing. Hey, Everything's wait. all right. <laughs> I, just, I just want to show her something. You know what? Go in! Your fans are lousy. Take a closer look at them. They're all shallow-minded people. See, Go in? You are only a pretty vase. <sighs> Since when did you have the power to judge my fans, huh? Yes, I'm a vase. Yes, I'm shallow. But this is a society where only good looks matter. They don't care about deeper things. If you hate me that much, then ask someone else to be your spokesperson. A spokesperson represents a great sense of beauty and the company's customers. If you have no higher requirement for your taste, then I'm having second thoughts. Think, what will be the effect of today's ad? Uh, looks like I have to think of a plan B after all. How could you doubt my expertise? It's just one commercial. Jason, huh? give me the plan B. Okay. <laughs> you did this on purpose, didn't you? What kind of ideas are these? Being a gang meeting or parade of a hundred demons? I can't accept a shoe like this. I'll never allow anyone to sully <sighs> my good looks. Oh, oh, wait, darling, look here. In the first part, you're the ugly duckling, but you will turn into the queen. See that it's... So you're not just a shallow vase, you're a vase without a sense of professionalism. Don't worry, Mr. Chanel. Miss Gao Wen, during this ad shooting, it's your duty to give the producers what they demand from you. Our lighting, art, and photography. Everyone here has a function. Do you think they don't have ideas of their own? If everyone has a say, how can we finish? As a spokesperson, your duty is to keep your mouth shut and speak only when told. A vase who doesn't know the rules and where to place itself will not know how it falls down and breaks on the ground. Thank you for the warning. Was it your intention to make me look ugly? Oh, hey, Gawen, dear, stop. How do you like that? Hey, your fans are over there. Not good enough, huh? There's plenty more where that came from. Jason? Yes? Get the special effects artist. All right. Gawain comes out. Let's give her a surprise, okay? We can't. Gawain goes directly all right, to all right. the car and leaves after. All right, yeah. thanks. But I have a plan. I'll ruin the tires so she can't leave. That won't work. The crew has extra cars. She'll just use another one. As soon as she gets in the car, I'll push her inside. Then lock the doors from the inside. And then I'll have her all to myself. <gasps> No, you can't do that. What if she screams? The police will surely come. They won't. I'll cover her mouth and knock her out. I'll take her away. I must let her know that I'll do anything to show my love for her. I'll confess this to her today. How does that great. sound? Good luck. Okay, guys, hurry up. We're hey, done. thank you for what you did. Okay, thank no you problem. so much. 
Thank you, everyone. Bye. Oh, these are your hardcore fans. Let's go Bye. and say hi to them. Bye. Hi. Here's Gawain. Let's go. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, Wait, Gawain. we have to run. Where are we Gawain. running? What's happening? Let go. Hey. Wait go. for me. Oh, goodness. Go on, Gawain. Get in the car. Wait, what's happening here? Hey, hey, mind the car! What's the matter with you? Are you insane? Where are you taking me? They're my fans. I need to be nice to them. Just shut up! I know what your hardcore fans are planning. They're planning to knock you out and kidnap you. Be careful. You might hit people. Hey, mind the car, guys. Stay away. Stay away. Come on, move Wait, it. you might hit someone. Are you crazy? Move it, guys. Move it. Make way. Hey! Um, what's this? Oh, those documents are for Mr. Shao. He wants you to finish reading everything in there today and report to him in person afterwards. Miduo, why is Mr. Shao giving you a heavy workload? Yeah, Miduo. I mean, look at those. He obviously wants you to suffer. I think I know why. Miduo, are you and Mr. Shao in a fight? He must be using work to get his revenge. That's it. Now I know. So this is what killing someone with love means. It's my first time to witness it. Miduo, we're really jealous of you. She's right. I also wish I could have a boyfriend like you. Yes, yeah, me too. Come in. Do you want some tea? Don't send personal stuff to my desk anymore. It was embarrassing to have my colleagues see this, okay? Well, you might need to overcome that as soon as possible, Midoa. Your most personal stuff is right here in this office. Tell me, can you focus on your work? What's my most personal stuff? <sighs> me. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. Midoa. I want to see how you look in a wedding dress, okay? I want a photo of it. Do you think that's okay? Why not? You don't want to be my bride? Of course I want to. Well, then let's go. <gasps> but yet she has just recovered. If she learns about their relationship, she might not be able to understand. How about delaying the wedding? <sighs> Mirua, I want us to have a stable relationship. We've been fighting recently because of Yechi. I don't want to lose you. As for Yechi, we have to let her know that we're together sooner or later. She has to accept the truth. Even though it's something I know we have to do, more people will benefit from it if we do it later. Why must we be so anxious to have the wedding now? The truth is, earlier isn't always better. Yechi may have known you longer than me, but I am your soulmate, am I right? Oh, you're not even blushing while you're saying that. <laughs> There's nothing to be ashamed of when it comes to love. Oh, you're getting better in your way with words. Hmm? <laughs> What's on your mind? Nothing much. I'll go back to work. You should as well. Do you want to get married? Ke 
get married? Mm. Are you willing to? Why wouldn't I be? Well, the truth is, I feel very happy now that I'm by your side. I never expected this day to come. I seldom give my heart to anybody. But if I do, I mean it. Go get ready. I'll take you home for dinner, all right? Okay. But... What about your mom? She doesn't like me. Don't worry. Because I already told her how I feel. I promise you, soon we will be a family. <laughs> Dad, Mom, Siwen has come to see you. Oh, that's good. Hello, Auntie. Hello, Mr. Shao. Oh, dear. Why do you keep calling me Mr. Shao? From now on, you can just call me Uncle, okay? Come here, have a seat. <laughs> here, let me help you. Ah, oh, Fruits, how polite of you. But it's not your first time visiting. Next time, don't bother spending on us, okay? I'm flattered, Auntie. I was in a bit of a hurry, so these are the only ones I can buy. How considerate of you. Mom, it seems you are in a good mood today. When was I in a bad mood? Go talk to your father. Okay. So, Yuan, since you're going to be a member of the family, I'll save the polite talk, okay? Come, let's prepare the fruits you brought. All right. Go and have a nice talk with my mother, I will. okay? <laughs> Let me carry this for you. Auntie, what fruit do you prefer? I bought a lot. There are apples, bananas, and pears. Which one do you like? Do you think someone like me would eat such cheap stuff? Throw them away. Are you surprised? I feel a bit upset because I look different from when I was out there. No. You're very nice to me, and I'm grateful for that. Don't feel grateful. And don't ever expect that I'll be nice to you. Let me be frank. I don't like you at all. I won't accept you being together with my son. But I have to contain myself before my husband and my son. Because if I treat you badly, they'll feel uneasy. But you know, if I were to accept you and be nice, I'm going to end up feeling worse. That is why I hope you know where you're standing. And don't get too greedy. I'm saying this for your sake. In case you have regrets in the future. I once was young. Like you, I know. If a woman doesn't deserve a man, she'll have to make compromises for the sake of love. I'm a prime example. I dislike you, but I have to pretend the opposite. I must pretend in front of my husband that I accept you. I think you're wise enough. You know well what I'm talking about. Auntie, Zi Liang and I are really in love. I'm begging you, please. What can you do? What can you bring him? What can you bring to our family? Ziliang and you belong to different worlds. All you will do is burden him. Do you think everything can be solved just because you love each other? Because don't think that just because my son likes you, that you can ignore everything I'm saying to you now. Ziliang obeys me since he was young. Plenty of fish in the sea, but only one mom. Do you think he'll disobey me just because of his love for you?
Why'd you ask me out at this hour? Is anything wrong? He wants to marry me. Isn't that great news? But his mom won't accept me. I came to the realization. After I left you, I learned that love couldn't solve all my problems. That's why I chose Zi Liang. But right now, I'm in love with him. I hope that love can solve all my problems. <laughs> slowly, slowly now. Easy, be careful. Over here. Here you go. Lie down. Hello, Siwen. Where were you last night? I... Didn't you say you'd call me? So why didn't you call? Sorry. I felt a little dizzy last night. So I went to sleep immediately. Sorry, I forgot to call. Wait, what's wrong? Why were you feeling dizzy? Are you okay? My blood sugar dropped. Since I felt really nervous in your home, so I didn't eat much. If I'll have breakfast soon, I'll probably feel better. Come on, I'll buy you breakfast. Come to the office, let's eat there, okay? Si Liang? Hmm? You're so nice to me. <laughs> Why? That was way out of the blue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why are you saying sorry? Uh, I don't want you to worry. Oh, come on, just relax. See you soon. Mm. Uncomfortable. Then I better pick her up. I know you feel dizzy when you have a hangover. So here, I prepared some porridge for you this morning. There, you should eat this. You'll feel better. You still remember all this time? I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm also surprised that the longer I'm separated from you, the clearer the details of everything in my memory. Eat it while it's warm. Hold on. I'll get the door. Okay. I was worried. So I brought you breakfast. You can eat it right here now. Then go to work together. Ziliang! Why is he here? Still young, it's not what you think. This morning, you I... You misunderstand. I insisted on coming. She was drunk last night, so she felt dizzy. Didn't you tell me you went to bed early last night? You two were drinking? You lied to me? Still young, please allow me to explain. It's not what you think, I promise. I... I drank last night because of what... Well, it looks like you won't need this anymore. You two go ahead and drink your hearts out! Hey, wait! Don't you want to hear her explanation? Do you know why she got drunk? Okay, let me tell you. Will you shut up? I don't want to hear 
anything about my girl from the likes of you. The reason I got drunk last night was because... Save it. It's too late anyway. Don't say anything. be taking a break. Uh, coming! Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Xiao Liang's ex-girlfriend. May I come in to have a chat with you? His ex-girlfriend? Uh, Xiao Liang never mentioned I'll you I'll let before. myself in. Uh, w wait, hey, wait, what are you doing here? Remember me or not, I don't want to hide anymore. Let me give it to you straight. Xiaoliang and Meiduo postponed their wedding, and you're the one behind it, right? Where did you hear this? <laughs> then it's true. Look at yourself, acting like you're the lady of the house. Do you really think you're entitled to prepare dinner for somebody else's fiancé? That's between me and Xiaoliang. It's got nothing to do with you. We're both actresses here. So can you cut the act for now? Do you think I don't know what you're up to? Wait, what do you mean by cut the act? I don't understand. You want to take Xiao Yang from Miduo. I don't need to explain anything to you. You may leave now. Hmm. This tastes pretty good. Oh, I forgot. You lost your memory, so I must warn you. You are one sly schemer. And it appears that you want to keep playing games, hoping that you could still win him back. What do you mean? What did I do? Five years ago, you betrayed Xiaoliang and married someone else. Five years later, you came back from abroad. You tried to take Xiaoliang away from Miduo. Oh, wait. That's impossible. Xiaoliang wasn't taking your desperate baits. When he rejected your advances, you decided to hurt Miduo's revenge. You set her up and framed her in the office, and she almost lost her job because of it. Xiaoliang even had to deal with a lawsuit. Do you think you can simply walk away from this by claiming you lost your memory? Or should you be held accountable? What are your thoughts? I don't understand what you're talking about. How could I possibly do those things? Why did you come here to see all this? I'm a famous actress. Why well, come here to act when I have plenty of scripts laying around? If you don't believe what I said, go and ask Xiaoliang. Let's see how he'll respond. I won't ask Xiaoliang. You came here intending to confuse me, to break me. I won't fall for it. It's true that I'm here, with my own intentions, of course. I hope you can back off and stop disturbing. The beautiful relationship between Xiaoliang and Miduo. They've done all they could for you. If you still have any feelings for him, let him be with his true love. All right? Let go of me, you're insane! Let go of me! Back in the hospital. I suggested you send Ye Chi away. Have you made up your mind? I've told you this and I'll say it again. I will not form an alliance with you. Something's gone wrong between you and Xiao Liang, am I right? You were planning your wedding, but since Ye Chi woke up, everything was not as you expected. What? Aren't you afraid that she might take Xiao Liang away? Xiaoliang won't fall for her again. Oh. Your expression says otherwise. You can't even fool yourself. So how can you fool others? Yechi is still a patient. 
If she cannot remember anything, she won't try to harm me. You'll wait for her to heal? If she remembers everything, would you have a chance to fight her back? She's not like you. She's ruthless when it comes to her enemies. What do you want me to do with her, Sil Young? She's got no one to depend on right now. Xiao Liang is the only one she can trust. What if I told you there's a man who is more entitled to look after her than Xiao Liang? Who's that? Well, her legal guardian, of course. Her husband, Tang Wei. Weren't they divorced a long time ago? Who told you that it was part of her plan? To win Xiao Liang back, why would she tell her enemy that she's still married? Ah. <sighs> For you and Xiao Liang, you have to take care of her. It's impossible. There's no way she would like to Xiao Liang like anyway, this. Anyway, stop wasting time on meaningless details like this. What we should do is to reunite Ye Chi with her husband as soon as possible. <gasps> That's her husband's contact info. You can contact him anytime. Just because someone lost her memory, doesn't mean their personality changes. The saying goes, seasons change, but not nature. That means if she used to take Xiao Liang from you, in the future, she might do the same thing over again. So Ye Chi has a friend like you. She never mentioned you to me before. That's because we haven't talked for a long time since she went overseas. You probably know she's in a hospital because she was hurt and in a coma. The lawyer told me that. She's in a vegetable state, right? Why did you come to me all of a sudden? Could she be... dead? Of course not. She's wide awake now, and her body's slowly recovering. So I came here today, hoping that you'd go and take her when she's recovered. <gasps> me take her away? It seems you know nothing about our marriage conflict. We decided to get divorced a long time ago. If this time she dies in the hospital, it will save me a lot of trouble. You're her husband. How can you say something like that? I'm her husband. But has she ever been a wife to me? I knew she loved someone else, yet I insisted on marrying her. I took her with me to the U.S. I did everything for her. I gave her money and she started a company. I've given her all she wanted, but whenever she slept on my bed, she was thinking of another man. And then... For five years, she kept thinking about him. And then what? She took everything from me. Can't you understand how I feel? That's why I don't care about her now. Can you tell her this for me? I will do anything to push through with a divorce as soon as possible. I am not interested in anything related to her. But yet she lost some of her memories. You are her only legal family. <laughs> lost her memory? <laughs> what kind of trickery is she using now? I'm telling you the truth. The only memories that remained were from five That's years ago. That's good news. She won't remember all of my properties. In her condition, the lawsuit will become easier for me. How can you say things like this? You shouldn't be so mean to her. She's still hurt. She hasn't recovered. Well, you're also her friend, right? If you're really that noble, why did you find me? I have a fiancé in my own life. I can't share everything with her. It will be difficult. You don't need to act all concerned now. You're just being selfish and you just want to get rid of her. If you insist, take Yechi away. That's fine. I'll bring her back to the U.S. I'll do to her what she's done to me. I'll torture and humiliate her. So she'll know what it feels like to be betrayed and humiliated by her spouse! You are beyond evil! I won't let you do that to her! Ziliang. Let's talk. Watch your behavior. You're at work. Regarding Xiangnan, it's all my fault. But you have it all wrong. I've no wish to know what's between you and him. Don't you want to know what really happened? I don't. Will there be anything else? We should Zai
在一起，每天都是好天气。六月的蝉鸣透露出我的心情。我提醒我自己，好朋友完美的距离，害怕终究要和你分离。知道你的心，它为它震动，而我一心想，只为你守候，争执也不留。但时间一切看得见，它，或许我们有缘，只是好朋友，而他是你选择幸福的人。是你。